During the many technological advancements of the digital age, the scanner was born. The scanner itself was an advancement from the laser printer, not only being able to print digital objects, but also to make replicas of original handwritten ones, as well as photos. So how does a photocopier work? A photocopier works due to the principle of zerography, which is the principle that light and electrically charged objects can copy images onto another piece of paper. There are six main parts to a photocopier. In red are the fuser rollers. The two bigger rollers are the imaging drum. In pink and black are the toner hopper. And in green is the corona wire or the charging rod. In dark blue on top of all of this is the laser which will emit light. And in between the laser and the imaging drum is the focusing lens. Okay, so the first thing that will happen with a photocopier is the corona wire will positively charge the paper that is being copied, as well as the imaging drum. When the image is exposed to the beam of light, the darker areas will remain positively charged because they will not be hit by the light, and the lighter areas will become negatively charged from the transfer of electrons from the light. So what happens now is light will expose the original image and then the imaging drum will get a reflection of that image. So then the reflection will become, this will become positively charged. And the rest will become negatively charged that has been exposed by the image. So then what will happen is the toner will come in and toner are little fine black specks that make up of ink and the toner will become attracted to naturally attracted to the positively charged areas because it is negatively charged so this area will become colored with toner this area will not so now new paper will come in and it will become positively charged by the corona wire and the toner, which is still negatively charged, will merge with the new positively charged paper. So now it will give that image onto that paper. However, it will still be in little specks of toner. Then it will move through the fuse, fuse rollers, and that is where it will be compressed and heated into becoming fine and normal paper.